We know the coronavirus crisis has hit many in our community hard, and we're here to help. Qualifying residents can get up to $2,100 of direct assistance to help with up to six months back rent or six months current and future rent. It's easy to apply for Anaheim's rental assistance program online. Here's how. First, head to anaheim.net slash rent assistance and click on the apply now link. The first thing you need to do is create an account with an email address you check often and a password that you create. Once you're in the application, you can choose which language you'd like it to be in right at the top of the page. The options are English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. The first page of the application is pretty simple and asks for some basic information. Why do you need help? Have you or a family member gotten sick from COVID-19 or had to quarantine? Have you lost your job or working hours due to coronavirus? Do you have another financial hardship? Then let us know what industry you work in and provide a brief description of why you need help. Then fill in your address and your rent information. And you'll need all your household information. In this section, you'll also be asked about your assets. For this, you'll need to count all of the money you have in savings, investments, real estate, or retirement accounts. You'll also need to let us know if you have annual medical or childcare expenses. Are you already receiving rental assistance such as Section 8? You must disclose that here, and that may impact your qualifications for the program. Then, fill out your landlord information. We'll need to contact your landlord to participate in the program, since the rental payment will go directly to the landlord. You may want to give them a heads up that you're applying for rental assistance. Next, we'll need a series of documents. If you don't have a scanner at home, don't worry. You can take photos of each document with your phone and upload them to the application. Note, you will not be able to upload documents until you actually submit your application. Then you'll be taken to a correspondence screen where you can upload each document. Once you get to that screen, it will tell you which documents you need to upload. If the document status says pending upload, that means you need to submit that particular document. At the bottom of the page, you will be able to see which documents you've uploaded. To upload a new document, select the category from the drop-down menu and click Choose File. You can also add any explanation you feel may be needed in the comments section. So here's what we need for each category. Proof of income. For this section, you need to show any income you are receiving. If you have a job, that would be your pay stubs for the past two months. If you're unemployed, retired, or on disability, that would be your unemployment or social security checks. Income could also include CalWORKs payments, money provided from family members regularly, or income from gig work such as driving for Uber or Lyft, freelance work, or day labor. If you get paid in cash or don't receive a regular paycheck for any other reason, you can upload a letter explaining what you do and how much you make. Proof of assets. For this section, you need to provide proof of all the money you have in your checking and savings accounts. This also includes money in your retirement account or IRA, as well as real estate holdings. We will need to know the assets for all the adults in your household. Current lease agreement. You must show us a copy of your lease. Your name must be on the lease to qualify, and all the names on the lease must be listed on your application. Photo ID. You'll need to submit a copy of ID for each person listed on the lease agreement you uploaded in the previous section. This can be any form of ID. It doesn't need to be a driver's license, you can use a work ID or a student ID or any other type of identification. Past rent documentation. You only need to submit for this category if you are asking for help with rent owed. For this, we'll need proof that you owe rent to your landlord, such as a delinquency notice that tells us how much you owe by month. And then you're all done. 
Once you have submitted all your needed documents, your application is complete. If you submit an accurate and complete application, our team will determine if you qualify for rent assistance. If you don't submit a complete application, you'll hear from one of our caseworkers who will help you submit any outstanding information you need and finalize your application. You can log in to your account at any time to check on the status of your application. If your application is complete and accurate, your landlord will receive a check within four to six weeks. Incomplete applications will likely take a little longer. If you have any questions, first check out our FAQ documents on the website, which may be of help. If you still need help, you can give us a call. Thank you so much and stay safe, Anaheim.